हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम टू बिटफ्यूम्स एंड दिस इज लेवल प्लस एंगुलर ऑथेंटिकेशन सीरीज एंड लेट्स नाउ वर्क ऑन द रीसेट पासवर्ड पार्ट सो इफ यूजर इज ट्राइंग टू लॉग इन एंड ही जस्ट फॉगट द पासवर्ड हाउ ही कैन रीसेट दैट सो फर्स्टली वी नीड अ लिंक हेयर रीसेट पासवर्ड विच जस्ट रीडायरेक्ट हिम टू अनदर पेज टू गेट द ई मेल फॉर रीसेट सो लेट्स नाउ गो टू बी एस कोड and on the front end again go to source app component and we have this login component and here on this login component just above the form where the form ends i will create a small tag here and inside this i will say reset password and that has to be a anchor tag so anchor tag reset password this just redirect me so router link to and here is the problem in the last episode when i was defining the can activate i have defined the after login service for request and response of the password reset that's not true because user is not able to log in so how he can access these things if he is not logged in so we need to make these two as before login so that user can access these two response and request of password reset so here we have to say request password reset is that true so request password reset correct so this is request password reset and let's give a class of float on the right let's see how it's going to look and yes you can see reset password if i click here it's not doing anything let's do one more it's not doing that what is that yeah here is the problem password reset click and yes we are on request pass reset work so let's now go to again component for password which is request password or request reset instead of this i will going to have the same thing we have on the login so why not grab everything from here paste it here and let's see how it's going to look great but we want various things to be not here so we don't want sign up button so let's remove that like this and we don't want two fields we just want one field so we delete the password one here and this is not login here it's send email for reset password okay this is done and we don't need any kind of form but let's use the form it doesn't matter so it's not a login form it's uh, uh request password reset request reset form so maybe i will follow camel case convention so request reset form and this will be disabled if request reset is not valid and i will say send password reset email long word but it will work so yes we need to create the form dot email and it is required and everything is good so let's now go refresh yeah it's working and here you can see we have this error we can simply delete this so let's delete that we don't have the on submit function and the form uh, object so let's go to request reset component and let's create a public of form which is having only email which is initially as null and give equal to sign close this line then we need a on submit method so on submit we need to send the request to our backend so for that we need to give an ajax request but to give an ajax request we have a new service old service which is called jarvis service 
and I just name it Jarvis because I like Jarvis Iron Man. Yay! So here, let's now give another uh, function which is be like send password reset link. So this is the thing and obviously this will get the email. Maybe let's give the data. So return as usual http dot post and we have to post to the URL which is like this one and obviously the data also so let's grab this paste here and it's not login it has to be send password reset link on the back end that means on the level part so let's now open the level and back end here let's go to routes api and here let's create a new route having a post request this one and we will create a new controller called reset password controller let's create this one open terminal a new one for backend php artisan uh, make controller controller name is reset password controller so hit enter and it's created so we have to search for that which is here reset password controller which we have created because there is one more reset password originally from the level but it's for our so this is here and here we, let's create a public function and send email this is a simple name i have given and here we have to define that okay it will go to send email function on the level end yeah this is done and now here what we have to do let's let's move here yeah this is done so Jarvis service is here done so on this part we need to say uh, firstly get the Jarvis so private Jarvis is Jarvis service okay so it is imported and now we can use Jarvis service so Jarvis dot send password reset link and this dot form we have to give and then dot of subscribe and here we will say if we get the data then console dot log data or if you get error then console dot log error so these part these parts are done but i think what we need to do let's create another method like always we will do handle response response and this will get the response and here i will firstly do one thing that this dot form dot email is equal to null so when user sends the email then we have to make this field as null and next thing is we need to notify the user so we need to grab a new package called s notify so if i go to chrome type s notify and search for that you will get this one for angular one not for vue.js and how you can install it simple this one so open terminal for front end paste it and it will download so while this is downloading we have to make sure that there is no error by placing semicolon at the last so now our, our package is installed and how we can use these things so again go to chrome and for the documentation we need to say we need to register these things so installation and yeah we have to import these things so s notify module we have to grab so on the front end let's go on the front end app.module.ts on the imports part s notify module it's not suggesting maybe it's not indexed yet so why not grab all these things from here paste it here and we need to give this providers and copy that on the providers list we have long list 
paste it here so this is done and now we can use this but we have to make sure that we give ng s notifier component anywhere so maybe we can give on our root element so app dot html let's give just after navbar okay so this is done and save this one and how we can use that firstly we have to grab that from here so let's give indentation here like this then private and i will say notify is s notify module so import that so in the error part we have to say this dot notify dot error and my error is actually the error dot error dot error why three error i will show you in the next episode when we are working on the back end and similarly here we have to use the handle method so handle response and pass the data here so for the front end we have done lots of thing and let's now in the next episode work on the back end that means on the laravel part to send an email with a unique token store that token for lots of things we have to do so if you have liked this episode please share these videos with your developer friends so that everyone know how you can connect laravel and angular and don't forget to subscribe like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye